What's up guys, it's your boy Bingster now, and we're back with part 2 of the series. And this time we're doing the jumping puzzle, assuming that everyone was able to enter the raid. If not, check out my last video, part 1. Now assuming that you're not the best platformer around, this first part does not look too hard. And it's not, it's all about timing. If you're a hunter, the jumps are a lot quicker. If you are a titan or warlock, make sure you time your jumps with having the glide time in mind. If you're not sure you're gonna make the jump, then just wait till you're sure to make it. After this big swinging pillars, you will get to the ships that will spawn and despawn while you're jumping. I can tell you I had the biggest trouble doing this the first time, and an explanation like this would have been nice. The best thing to do is to max out your agility, since some jumps are pretty high and hard to get. Second thing is, if you're on a hunter, wear the bones of Ao, if you still have those. Any other class could wear and equip a sword. Now the first ship is gonna be right there in the middle. The second ship will spawn on your left. The third ship will spawn on your right. And the fourth ship will spawn on your left again. After the fourth ship, there's a platform you can jump on. This platform is a save point so that you don't respawn at the start every time you die. Once you reach the platform, a ship will spawn on the right side of it as soon as you get there. You can let the ship pass and wait for the next one of course. Now if you're on that ship, the next one will spawn right in front of you. Make sure that you kneel or stand on the back of the ship and let that ship pass. Now once that ship passed, another ship will spawn right in front of you and this is where agility comes in. You need to jump on that ship so a high jump will be nice. Then a ship will spawn right in front of you again where you need to jump on. Then again, there will be a ship right in front of you. This ship will take you all the way to the left side of the map, where at the end another ship will spawn at the very last second. This ship will take you to the top of the map. You should be done right there. Easy, right? Now there is another part that contains a chest, but this requires every player to be over at the other side. This part is a lot easier to do with glide and a triple jump with the bones of Ao. As you can see the door I'm at is still closed as long as not every player made it to the other side of the first jumping puzzle. But as soon as everybody got there the door opened. Behind this door there will be a chest. After the chest there is some sort of spiral that will lift you up to the first part where there is an actual mechanic with enemies and cleansing. but I will talk about this part in my next video. I hope this gave you guys enough information about the jumping puzzle and the chest. And if it did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If not, a thumbs down. And don't forget to share, rate, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time in Destiny.